Now that we have some transactions in Wave Accounting, I want to show you how to reconcile your bank account. The act of reconciling a bank account is simply taking the information that's in Wave Accounting and the information that's in your bank account and compare the two and make sure that they're the same. Doing this helps ensure that the account balances in Wave and the transactions that are showing there are correct, that there aren't missing transactions or there aren't extra transactions that never got processed by the bank. In Wave, this is a fairly simple process to do. So let's jump in and take a look. So here we are in the transactions page inside of Wave. To reconcile a bank account, there's actually two steps. The first step is to verify transactions. The act of verifying is simply telling Wave that yes, we have checked and made sure that these transactions do in fact exist in my bank account. So to do this, I would pull up your online banking and then pull up this Wave transactions page side by side and check them off one by one and just make sure each of them exist. As you verify that something does in fact exist in your bank account, you can simply click the checkbox to the right of that transaction to verify it. So for example, we can say that this dividend at the top of my transactions page is in fact in my online banking, so I'm going to click the checkbox and verify it. At that point, the checkbox turns green and disappears. The transaction isn't really gone, we've just filtered up at the top for only unverified transactions. This makes it easy to go down the list. Basically our goal on a daily or weekly basis is to clear the entire unverified list as we know the transactions have posted to our bank account. Now sometimes you may come across transactions that don't actually exist in your bank account. For example, if I look down here at the second and third line on my transactions page, I have two deposits on the same day for $160, but in my bank account, I only have one. This usually happens when you've manually entered a transaction into Wave and then synced with your bank account and the bank also brings in a transaction. Now, Wave is getting better at noticing those differences and automatically filtering out or merging together these transactions for you, but it doesn't always do that. So sometimes you may see a duplication like this. In the event that you do see a duplication, the easiest way to, to take care of this is to check both of these transactions on the left hand side, which opens up the merge button at the top and allows us to merge or combine those two transactions into one. So if I click this merge button, both of those transactions now become one. If you have, for example, taken a picture of a receipt or something else in the manual transaction that you want saved, all of that information moves over and connects to the transaction that's linked to your bank account and both of those become one transaction. Um, different online banking pro or different online accounting products handle this situation different ways. Um, Wave's way of handling it is through merging. Now, also, you may have situations where there is a transfer, like at the bottom of my transactions page, and it's wanting us to categorize this transaction. There should be no expense or income between them because it's simply a transfer from one bank account to another. But if I come in here to select the bank account, you'll see that it's not an option of a category that I can select. So, the way around this is to simply check both of those transactions and then up at the top mark them as a transfer and then Wave will handle the transfer from and transfer to just fine. Now again, Wave is getting better at recognizing transfers automatically for you. I actually went in and created these scenarios so I had something to show you. But most of the time, Wave will take care of those situations where you have mergings or transfers automatically and you should just be able to verify them. So now that these transfers are taken care of, I'm going to go ahead and verify both of those. And let's say that those are the only transactions available in my bank right now. So the next step that we're going to have is to actually reconcile or compare the balances between the two accounts and look for any differences. There is no reconciliation page in Wave, which can be a little frustrating for new users, especially if you're coming from a software like QuickBooks that has a separate screen for reconciliations. In Wave, the reconciliation screen is kind of hidden, but it, once you're used to it, it's very easy to find. 
To get to a reconciliation page, the only thing you need to do is come up here to the filters and filter for one specific account. So in this case, I'm going to use my share savings. And that pulls up the reconciliation windows or calculation. So you can see off to the left, I have my online banking balance, I have my verified balance, and I have my difference. When you're finished doing a reconciliation, those di that difference should be zero. The cool thing is you can actually reconcile any time you want. Most people prefer to reconcile at the end of every month, but you can actually reconcile on a day-to-day -day basis if you have your daily balances available in WAVE. Now, in this instance, I have a negative difference. I have verified more things than my online banking shows. This can be very common, especially if you're using a debit card or a credit card, because sometimes I'll go to a store, make a debit card purchase, come back and look at my way of accounting and go, oh yeah, I recognize that transaction. I made that transaction, so I'll verify it, even though it may not hit my bank for two or three days. So my recommendation is if it doesn't show up in your online banking as a transaction that has been completed, don't click it as verified in WAVE. It will make your reconciliation so much easier. So in this case, I want to unverify that two cent interest because I know that it's coming, but it hasn't fully posted to my bank account yet. To do that, I'm going to need to change my filter from unverified to verified so that I can find that transaction I marked off. So I come to the filter and change it. And you can see my dividend there up at the top. To unverify it, I just simply have to click the green checkbox. And now it has moved from unverified back into my, or sorry, from verified back into my unverified. And you can see that the difference is now zero. That's the way I want it to look. Now, if you are, if you have a big difference that you're trying to figure out, and you want a little bit more detail, you can click the plus button that's at the top corner of the verified and the difference screen for more information. This will show you the withdrawals and the deposits for both verified and unverified, and hopefully with that you can kind of tell what the difference is. So it just gives you a little more information if you need to troubleshoot your balances a little and try and get that to zero. But your goal every time you sit down to verify and uh, reconcile your bank account is to get that difference to zero. Now, does WAVE have a formal reconciliation process that prints reports and closes out months? No, that's not available yet. But this is a step in the right direction and can really help beginners ensure that the information that they're keeping in WAVE is accurate and prevent misunderstandings that can create unexpected transactions that just hang out there forever and make your balance sheet incorrect, inaccurate. So uh, that's the reconciliation process inside of WAVE. Thank you for watching the Bootstrapper's Guide to WAVE Accounting. If you found this video useful, I encourage you to click the like button below, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and share this video with other entrepreneurs. Doing so will help us to continue creating more videos like this one for you and other WAVE users here on the Accounting Lab.